Environmental engineering is the study of the effects of human activities on the environment and the use of engineering principles to improve and maintain the environment. The United States Environmental Protection Agency has identified 10 issues of concern in this matter. Air, water, waste, land and cleanup, health and safety, climate change, green living and sustainability, emergencies, chemicals and toxins, and pesticides in agriculture. By focusing on these issues, environmental engineers improve and maintain the environment for the protection of human health and ecosystems. Me too? Yes, you too. Dr. Jose Rizal described our nation as Pearl of the Orient Seas while he was imprisoned. But, in today's generation, we can barely compare our beloved motherland to it. There's a place in Philippines namely Tejero Cebu City, which badly needs some attention. They are the people living along Riverside. As part of our mission, being an industrial engineering student, we are tasked to conduct research on how people live in that area, how they adopt certain environment, and how local government take charge of their concerns. Now come with us, as we go around Barangay T Hero. Good morning. Good morning. You guys may have a seat. Thanks. Albert will do the interview. Yeah, sure. Let's get started. So, what can you say about T Hero decades ago? Well, T Hero is one of those clean area in Cebu City. You mean the river is still flowing? Exactly. T Hero is a reclaimed area and a coastal barangay connecting its river to the port area. I'm pretty sure. There are fishes present in there, right? Yes, there are. Swimming freely in the river. So what happened to them? Well, with the rapid environmental change, they vanished. People starting to throw their garbage in the river. Population around Riverside increased rapidly. Thus, pollution is unstoppable. Do you have any idea how local government addressed this concern? He heroes LGU with the help of those volunteers has a daily cleaning program around Riverside. Local government also has a dredging program to minimize those garbage in the river. How often it is? I mean, the dredging. At first, it was weekly. But since backhoe used to get those garbage was from City Hall, which they currently use. Dredging program was stopped temporarily. To further give us information about the comparison of Barang IT Hero's past and present situation, we have talked to one of the first settlers in the said Barangay, Councillor Gary Lau. What are you actions regarding solid waste management? I mean, those waste coming from households, particularly from those riverside. We hired garbage collector. We also have volunteers to do cleanup drive every day. Why there are still garbage in there? Well, as you can see, people are uncontrollable. Despite of those penalties, there are still few of them who abide the rules. Despite the active involvement of Brangay T. Jero's officials to serve those riverside settlers, there are some of them who do not follow rules. However, we, the industrial engineering students, wants to hear the side of the riverside settlers pertaining to their adaptation to environment and how it affects their daily life. We interviewed the residents living near Riverside. Good morning, sir. Good morning. We are students from Cebu Technological University. We are here to ask you questions about your kind of living near Riverside. Is it okay with you? That's fine. Let's start. How long you have been living here? I've been living here for 15 years already. It's been a long time. How many are you in the family? We are five including me and my wife. For 15 years of living here, what are the common problems that you have encountered? This is the worst sign of living near rivers. During rainy days, little by little the river overflows. Aside from that, 
It is stagnant which causes uneasy especially when eating. Speaking of eating, how did you adapt to that kind of situation? Yes, for 15 years of living here. Me and my family get used to it. With that, what are the common illnesses you have encountered? Mostly, people living here experience as dinghy. And one factor that causes dinghy is the river's condition. Have you gone to the Brang Lai for this concern? So, what was their action? Yes, been there. Many of us complained for the same concern. Just this month of May, they conduct dredging operations. It happens only once. We the residents here concluded that, the dredging operation that they conduct last May, was because of politics. You mean, your living is affected by the politics? Definitely yes, because if not, dredging operations would be done, at least once a month. That could at least, lessen the possibility of overflowing of water. I see. I think we had gathered a lot of information from you sir. This would be a great help for us, students to know how people, the same situation as yours, adapt certain changes in the environment. Thank you so much sir. It's our pleasure to discuss and share something regarding our kind of living.